Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we are going to talk about the dankest memes from the dank memes from Site19 subreddit. Let's get started. First one's going to be from underscore shoulder underscore. Um, yeah, I remember this story. It's been a while. Damn. It's been that long. Maybe it's been two years? Yeah. Interestingly, though, despite as much as you might like or dislike that story, the more the biggest uh, thing about that article is that it has no object class. And when I wrote it, there was no object class, but uh, people complained a lot and it was getting sort of a tepid response. Uh, and so I was like, if people really care, then I'll change it back. And I added an object class for uh, a time. But then... <laughs> After, I don't know, maybe a year or so, I was just like, eh, fuck it. <laughs> and then I added it back in because I'm like, you know what? I still believe in what I originally believed in. I shouldn't have caved. So now it's uh, got no object class again. I think it went from uh, no object class to Euclid to no object class. SCP Wiki. We will be removing Untitled 2004 from the wiki due to legal reasons have been ignored for too long. As per author Moto 42s request, there will not be a replacement image. And then a bunch of people saluting. Uh, I'm not going to salute because I wasn't in the military, but I get you. Um, I guess. I don't... Mm, I don't have that much reverence for the SCP-173. It's nice. Don't get me wrong. SCP-173... Well, nice. That's what's supposed to be, That's uh, putting it as politely as I can. SCP-173 is a big deal. I'm not going to pretend that it's not, right? I can't pretend that SCP-173 isn't a big deal. It absolutely is. However, the thing I have, the, the problem I have with it is that, first of all, the article is not very well written, but of course it, it wouldn't be very well written. The person who wrote it was probably young and inexperienced with writing. I bet the Moto42 wrote something now, he'd be better at it, maybe. Uh, I don't have, I haven't seen any of his stuff. I haven't seen any of his follow-up works. Um, <laughs> his second album's not as good as his first album. A lot of people invest a lot of their um, personal worth in stuff like this, and it's just not. I, I ain't. I, I ain't there. I just ain't there. SCP-173 exists. I'm appreciative that it exists, but it's not like changing it slightly is going to affect my life in some sort of serious way, either emotionally or realistically. Ha, ah, the GOC. The Foundation relies on complicated special containment procedures to deal with the anomalous, which inevitably fail. However, I'm more results-oriented, so I'll just use a weapon to deal with the anomalous. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, I, I think I, I said this before in one of the previous videos, but the GOC is, you know, it's a reflection of the SCP Foundation. What if the SCP Foundation, it's like the version of the SCP Foundation that doesn't care why anomalies are the way they are. It's just interested primarily in the destruction, uh, or, or I'm sorry, in the containment of anomalies. That's it, containment. Containment can mean a lot of things. The SCP Foundation contains things in a box because it's easier to study, but if you didn't care about studying them, then you just contain them by getting rid of them. It's time to go. Goodbye, old friend. Please stop looking at me. I cannot move. I think if uh, if I do a video on the actual removal, which I may still do, uh, I'm not entirely sure what the topic of it would be, other than like uh, one of those uh, one of those we salute you sort of things. But um, maybe I do kind of a retrospective on the history of the SV Wiki. I'm not really 100 percent sure. Regardless, I think I'd probably call it. You can move now, old friend. You can finally move. Because with the image gone, people are no longer looking at it. Um, you know, eh. the following is a message composed by a consensus of the O5 Council. Every time you complain about the articles being too long or too gay, we'll make them longer and gayer. There will be no further communication. Okay, so I can't speak for the gayer part, but uh, in my observations of articles being too long, um, <laughs> it feels like I'm ignoring the the more important part of the of, of the actual meme, to be honest with you. But I can't speak to the too gay part. I don't understand what that even means. Uh, anyway, um, I cannot conceive, you cannot conceive, nor can I, the appalling strangeness of, <laughs> of the average SCP reader. Um, I, I don't get what that means. 
but too long I can at least understand. Um, there's a new sort of, well, not new, it's always been around. This is something that uh, you're going to run into in any sort of uh, lit literature critique uh, environment, and that's that longer is better. Um, that, I guess that size matters. Um, they, they, that they, they're people and respected authors currently who believe that if you str can stretch a story out to 10,000, 15,000 words, it is just inherently better, regardless of any of the other qualities that you add to it. And of course they believe that they're adding enough of the other qualities of, uh, uh, qualities of quality, uh, things that, cr you know, make an article good. They're adding enough of that to, you know, uh, get, to make up for the fact that it's a long article. But people aren't on the SCP Wiki for, I, I mean, I say this, but there are plenty of articles now that are incredibly long and also incredibly high rated. So saying that the people don't come to the SCP, I think what would be more accurate to say is that uh, you might have an article here or there that's going to be highly rated and it's extremely long. But in my experience of looking at the wiki's content, especially recently, the longer stuff has a harder road to climb. Or perhaps I should say a harder hill to climb. That makes far, far more sense. Um, I think I mixed my metaphors there. It should have been a harder road to travel or a harder hill to climb. And instead I said a harder road to climb. That's, uh, that's good times. Um, I'm a writer, guys. Um... Yeah, no, it's the thing. The thing about the SFU Wiki and length of articles is again, like, uh, what's the um, the 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 appropriate little thing is how often uh, literary literary critique thinks that um, what's the what's the story? Uh, the Great Gatsby sucks because it's short, <laughs> but it's put up on the wiki as one of the longest articles that there is. Uh. Yeah, there's something to be said about that. So it's funny that the article links like 10,000, 15,000. Everyone's like, these are better just inherently uh, are would be considered by like traditional literary critique to be significantly uh, worse because they're only 10,000 or 15,000 words. I don't I'm not a big fan of that middle ground because you have the same problems as a novel with retention of audio. I'm, <clears throat> Perhaps I'm going into this too deeply. You have the same audience retention problems. Speaking of audience retention, I bet you've already tuned out. Um, you have the same audience retention problem uh, with that you have with a novel, but you don't have as much time to develop your characters, as much room to build your world. Um, you have to do it in a much shorter space. Now, if you can't develop your characters or build your world fully, then it makes sense to shorten it because that ex the reader experience is better if they don't have to, you know, if you're not going to be able to develop your characters, you're not going to be able to build your world. The reader experience will be better if it's shorter because they can get what you have available more quickly. I don't really, I mean, I look at these things and people are like, oh, you did a good job. I mean, and I think sometimes you can do a better job with your character development at the, at the 2,500 word mark. But beyond that, you're just adding new characters. Like you can get a character... You can get a, I should say, a reader invested in a character in a thousand words or so, if you if you really good, and in two thousand or three thousand words, it's pretty easy no matter if you're a good writer or not. So by that point, you have a single character you're focusing on, and you also have a somewhat bite-sized story. If you triple that, you might get three or four, maybe five more characters because different line. I mean. The length, it's not perfect. It's not like, oh, in 2,000 words, you can get that. So in 10,000 words, you can get five. It's more like, it's way more complicated than that. Because you can have characters interacting with each other to develop them as characters. Um, it, that's neither here nor there. We're getting way too into the weeds on writing here. But that is part of what people come here for. Well, came here for way back in the original days. Um, it, the mid-length stuff. 10,000, 5,000 more, 5,000, 10,000, definitely at the 15,000 mark and beyond, all the way up to novel length. I feel you're sacrificing too much for too little. There's a reason why flash fiction is very popular and novels are very popular. 
but short stories show up in magazines and and so on and so forth. Uh, and novellas don't generally don't generally they do sometimes, but don't generally get published. Uh, it's because they 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 fit that awkward middle range that just doesn't quite work as well as what's on the other extremes. That's all I'm saying. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. It is nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Thursday.